Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use the icon box widget in Elementor. We will use two different types of icon boxes in this video. Now here you will see the first icon box that is created using the basic free Elementor plugin. And these two icon boxes are created using another free plugin. So we will use a free plugin which will give you a different type of icon box apart from this basic free element of plugin. Here you can use image instead of icon and here you will see different types of animation for this icon box and this plugin is free to use. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and here we are using Elementor Page Builder plugin. So in the first part we will start with the free icon box that comes with the basic Elementor plugin. So you do not need Elementor Pro for this. And in the second part, we will install a free plugin which will give you an option to use advanced icon box widget. So let's start with the basic icon box that comes with the Elementor plugin. So here I'm going to add a new section and I'll use three column. So let's add some padding, the top and bottom padding for this one. Okay, so in the first column, we are going to add icon box so search for icon box now here you will see different options the first one is icon this is simple icon only it, it will give you only a single icon option so you can change the icon from here and this option is icon list and we will cover this icon list option in the upcoming videos this is share buttons social icons and this one is icon box so let's drag it and drop it here Okay, so this is the basic layout of the icon box. You will see the icon here, then the title and the description. Here you can put the link. So here you will see I have placed the link. So when I click on title or the icon, it will go to that particular link. The text is not linked. It is only the icon and the title, which when clicked will go to that link. Okay, now let's see how we can change the icon. So here you can click on the icon and you will see the icon library from where you can choose the icon so here you will see many icons you can change that one so let me use one of the icons let's say award so this is how you can change the icon now these are the icon views this is the default one you can change to stacked and the stack is right now it is set to circle and the stack you can have circle and square Okay, the next option is frame. So you will see a frame, a border. It is circle as well as square. So you can use any view of this icon. So I'm going to choose the default. Okay, now this is the heading. So from here you can change the heading. And this is the text. So from here you can change the text. All right, so this is how you can change the text. This is the link I have already shown you. Now you can change the position of the icon from left. So this is the left and this is the right and to the top. Okay, now this is the title HTML tag. So this is the title and it has, it is set to H4 or you can change it to H3, H2. All right, so let's set it to icon position to the left and go to style section now here from here you can change the icon style so this is the color and this is the spacing between the icon and the text size of the icon okay so you can change the size here now go to content section and from here you can change the content so this is the alignment of the content right now it is set to left can change it to center right or justify so I'm going to set it to left now vertical alignment to the middle so you can see that the vertical alignment when I change it it went to top middle and bottom so I'm going to set to middle okay now this is the spacing between the title and the text so you can see that the icon is placed to the middle 
Now color of the title, from here you can change the color. And this is for the typography of the title. So you can change the title, font, size, font, family, and the size of the font. So these are the basic settings for the title. And this is for the description. You can change the color, typography as well. And you can change the size also. Alright, so these are the basic settings of the icon. If you want to change the hover effect, you can also change the hover effect. Now let's go to icon. Under style, go to icon. And here you will see the option for the hover effect for the icon. So you will get only the icon hover effect. So here you can see primary color. You can change the color. So when I move the cursor, you will see that the color has been changed. And you can have different animations here. Shrink, go. Right, so this is how you can change the hover effect for the icon only. So you will not find any hover effect for the content or the text. Now, if you want to use a border, you can simply select this column, the entire column and go to this advanced settings. Let's add some padding here. Okay, and now uh, let's go to the style section and we can add a border to the icon, to the entire box. So this is how it will look. And you can also add border radius. So here you will see the border and its radius. Now if you want to change the background color on the hover, you can simply go to background. We are changing the style of the column, not the icon box. So here you can go to the hover and change the background color. So when I move the cursor here on the column, the color of the column entire section changes. So these are the hover effect for the column, not to the icon box. All right, so you can change the color. So we have added border and the background color. All right, so these are the basic settings of the icon box that comes with the free Elementor. Let's update this page and see how does this look. So this is the basic icon box here. You will see when I move the cursor, you will see this hover animation for the icon box as well as the color change for the column. Okay, now let's move on to the next section. Now we are going to install a free plugin that will give you a different kind of icon box. So let's go to plugin and here you will see the name of the plugin Elements Kit Lite. So you can go to add new and search for Elements Kit Lite plugin. So I have it already installed. I'm going to activate it now. Right now, let's move on to the page and refresh this page. Okay, now in this column, we are going to add new icon box. So click on the plus sign and search for icon box. Now here you will see this new option added icon box EKIT. Here you in the right top corner, you will see this EKIT that is element skit light. So let's drag it and drop it here. Now this is a new icon box. Now here you will see different options, equal height, enable it. So all the icon boxes will be of equal height. Now this is the icon. If you want, if you do not want to show, you can simply check this and it will show none. And from here you can select different icons. So this is how you can change the icon. In this case, I'm going to use image. So instead of icon, you can also use image. So I'm going to use this image okay so here you will see the image now okay now let's see this is the title you can change the title from here and this is the text so I'm going to keep the same text the dummy text here so okay now let's see we have got the image then the title and the content now if you want to add link you can also enable a button here so instead of linking that to title or the icon you can add a button here Okay, now let's see. So when I enable this option, the button will be shown only when you move the cursor in this box. So I'm going to disable it. So the button will always be there. Okay, now let's see. You can change the text here, the button text. And here you can place the link for the button. And now if you want to add icon to the button, you can add the icon. 
so here you will see the icon you can put it after the text okay now let's go to the settings and here you will see enable hover watermark so I'm going to select yes and when I move the cursor you will see this icon coming up here okay, so you can change that icon also right so where do you want to put it top left or right so you can change the position of this icon you no know? so let's put it on the top this one looks good so this is the title HTML tag for this one now badge show badge so this is the badge you will see it here exclusive if you do not want to show you can hide it if you want to show a badge you can simply show it and where do you want to put you can change the position to the top right left so there are different positions where you can put this badge and you can change the text from here okay so these are the premium features so let's go to style section and you will see the style section for this icon box so let's see we have got the background type here so if you want to change the background color you can change the background color so i'm going to change it to let's say dark blue okay now if you want to change it to gradient you can change it to gradient also so i'm going to use single color if you want to change the background to image you can change the background image and this is how it will look right now these are the padding settings so i'm going to keep it as it is border type if you want to add border you can add the border so here you will see a border here add border radius okay, now let's go to content section and here you will see the option for the content now let's see icon box container here you will see hover effect so I'm going to change the hover color to let's say black when I move the cursor you will see the black color here all right now let's go to content and I'm going to change the color title color and this is for the hover so you, here you will see when I move the cursor the color changes to green from here you can change the typography settings change the size now this is for the description so I can change it to white and for the hover I can change it to yellow so here you will see yellow color when I move the cursor the watermark this is the watermark right now it's black so I'm going to change it to white and here you will see the watermark and you can change the size of this watermark so I'm going to change it to let's say 150 and here you will see the increased size this is for the icon so right now we are not using icon if you are using icon instead of image you can change the icon settings from here this is for the button so this is the button now you can change the color of the font the text color from here background color from here so I'm going to change it to gradient let's say and change it to all right so this is how it's going to look now let's add some border one pixel white okay now let's see we can change the hover color from here so here you will see the basic hover color settings for the button okay so these are the basic style settings now let's see here is an option background overlay Okay, right now we have set the background hover color to black so instead of that you can also use background overlay color so let's see when I move the cursor it will show the background overlay let's use this one so this is you will see the change in color so let's do one thing I'm going to disable it and we are going to copy this one here and we will use the overlay for a different one so let's go to the batch these are the badge settings you see the badge here you can change the background color or the badge color from here so this is how you can change the background color of the badge and you can also change the text color and text 
typography from here for the badge so let's copy this one here I'm going to copy and duplicate it and delete this one okay so for this one I'm going to use the background overlay so go to style go to background overlay and from here you can also use image overlay so instead of color you can use the image so I'm going to use a single color and let's use this color so when I move the cursor you will see this background overlay on this one you will see only the back black color and here you will see the animated background overlay so you can change the position right now it is set to left you can also change it to top from the right all right now let's update this one all right so what I'm going to do I this one looks too big so I'm going to use a new column here and get this one out of this let's copy this one and paste it here right so this one looks good here so I'm going to delete this one all right so this one is created using the free elementor and these two are created using the elements kit plugin so this is how you can use the icon box in Elementor. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.